Hello everyone, good evening. I'm Lucia from DocCity and it's my pleasure to present tonight this webinar organized in partnership with uh, Università Federico II from Naples in Italy to talk about studying in Italy and studying in Naples and how you can launch your international career with Federico II University. We have uh, uh, quite a panel tonight with um, professors and student testimonials so we hope uh, you enjoy so that you can see all the advantages of coming to Italy to study specifically in Naples at Federico II University. Um, as I said before, I see more people joining. Thank you very much everyone for being here. My name is Lucia from Duck City and I will be the presenter tonight of this webinar organized with Federico II University um, to talk about studying in sunny Naples and launch your career, international career with Federico II University. Tonight with us, uh, we have professors that will talk about uh, the programs and we have uh, some student testimonials that will talk about their experience of being an international student uh, studying in uh, Italy, precisely in Naples. Right below on the chat, uh, on the, sorry, on the Zoom menu, you will find the chat box. You can start writing over there, just saying hello and that's where you're connecting from. We're expecting so many students from so many different countries uh, here with us tonight. You will also find the Q&A box. During the presentation, you can leave your questions there that we will answer at the end on the Q&A section. So feel free to write everything that comes up during the presentation. Um, I see more people joining. Thank you very much, everyone, for being here with us tonight. I'm Lucia from Duck City. I will be the webinar presenter tonight. We want to present to you study in Italy and stand in Naples and launch your international career with Federico II University. We have this um, panel from the um, Federico II University faculty, Professor Ermina Begovic, Professor Paola Petruzino, and we also have student testimonials from so many different countries, uh, Tania, Enes, Mion, and Isabelli, who are going to talk about their experience studying uh, at Federico II University. Hi, my name is Khaled from Algeria. Hello, Khaled. Thank you very much for joining, and thank you very much everyone for being here with us tonight. So I see uh, more people is joining, but we have uh, quite a crowd already here with us tonight. My name is Vinod from India. Hi Vinod, thank you very much for being here with us tonight. So if everyone agrees, I think that we can start the presentation with the opening greetings from Professor Valeria Costantino. Pro Professor the floor to us. Yes, thank you. And uh, hello to everybody. And thanks for being here this night. It's really my honor to introduce uh, this event and uh, behalf of our rector and all our community of the University Federico II of Napoli. Uh, this university, as you may be know, is one of the oldest and the largest in the world, uh, having uh, 26 departments uh, covering any kind of fields and 80,000 students, more than 3,000 faculty members. And um, this event aims to providing you with a useful introduction and information on who we are and what we are, can offer in terms of uh, higher education. And uh, I sincerely hope that uh, this will be useful for you, uh, will be informative, and then, then after that you May will consider to join our university next year. So we are making our best to combine education and recent research excellence with the warm and friendly atmosphere of our city. Proud of the nearly 80th century history of our university, we are striving to combine experience from the past and the vision of the future where all cultures and religions are more than welcome. Sure that each of you will implement our community, our society, bringing its own life experience and family education. So we, I really hope to have the chance to welcome you next year in our welcome International Welcome Day. So now, we can go on with the presentation and I will be here to uh, reply to your uh, questions. Welcome in the University Federico II of Napoli. 
Thank you very much, Professor Costantino, for such a warm introduction. I run to all the um, to all the participants tonight. I see more people join after the presentation started. You can leave your questions on the Q&A box and we will answer them at the end of the presentation. We will now go through with our panel, um, with our professors that are here with us tonight. We will start with uh, Professor Paula Petrosino from the Department of Earth Sciences. Professor, please go ahead. Can you see my yes? Video? You can see. Okay, can see that's fine. Okay, so um, well, we welcome all of you here at this webinar um, for uh, Federico II International uh, Students. And um, what um, we can, I am Paola Petrosino, I am a volcanologist at, Univers uh, at University of Napoli, Federico II. We know you are facing an important choice, uh, what and where to study. As to what, I want to say that uh, uh, you can make this choice with an eye uh, to your future job, but also with an eye on what you are passionate about, because your job will be an important part of your life. And so it is uh, uh, certainly better to work uh, with something we like. And um, this now, tonight we will uh, present the, what we call the international offer of uh, Federico II University. Uh, that is the programs uh, uh, which are held in English and Italian or even only in English. But, any student, any international student can also enroll uh, in the programs held in Italian. Uh, so we have uh, um, only one undergraduate program that is from the economics area, hospitality and management. Only one single cycle, ma cycle master program, uh, which lasts six years and is medicine and surgery. This is somewhat a singularity for Federico II University because to enroll in this master, you must take an admission exam, a national admission exam, and then um, you will, uh, have a mark that can uh, allow you to enroll in this course. Then we have several uh, uh, double uh, or uh, joint degree courses, which uh, make it possible to have a degree in Federico II, but also a degree from another um, European uh, or uh, country. Uh, but uh, my colleague later on can uh, say uh, will say um, something more about this degree. The core of our international offer is represented by these two-year master uh, programs in uh, various uh, areas as architecture, biotechnologies, economics, engineering, veterinary medicine, science, uh, politics and the humanities. And um, some of these uh, uh, programs are run by more than one institution, as the recent industrial chemistry for circular and uh, um, bioeconomy uh, that is run by Federico II University and Turing University, or this master that is starting next September in uh, volcanology uh, that is run by the University Federico II and INGB. INGB is um, Italian National Institute of um, Geophysics and Volcanology, uh, uh, Vesuvian Observatory in particular collaborates with this master's degree and the uh, Vesuvian Observatory is the most ancient volcano observatory uh, in the world. And Napoli is the most suitable city for the first European master's degree in volcanology because it is sandwiched between two active volcanic areas, Vesuvius and Campi Flegrei. 
And um, to this master degree, the researcher of the Soviet Observatory uh, cooperate as uh, lecturers, but mostly as uh, um, uh, uh, training on the job activities. We are um, in, with this large uh, international offer. We are convinced that you can find the um, course that best suits that best suits your needs, and uh, certainly um, you would uh, not be disappointed by these um, uh, courses at Federico II. Uh, as uh, uh, Valeria was telling you before, Federico II is the oldest uh, lay university in Italy. Next year, we are celebrating uh, its uh, birthday, uh, a very important birthday, 800 for years for Federico II. And uh, in Federico II, you certainly find um, the, uh, an inclusive environment uh, that uh, makes it possible uh, to find, to reach your full potential in uh, Napoli. Um, you will find this inclusive environment, environment where everyone does their best to make you feel um, uh, supported both intellectually and academically. And um, uh, mostly as a master student, you will find a very um, uh, cutting edge uh, research um, uh, facilities. Uh, you will find uh, uh, academic uh, support, but also um, welfare and personal support. And most of all, you will find a community that will be inclusive for you for all the time you are planning to spend in uh, Napoli. In this community, you find uh, many international and Italian students uh, as Valeria was saying uh, before, we have 8,000 students. And in this community, uh, you can uh, um, uh, find other students with whom you can exchange opinions and experiences. Don't worry if you don't know Italian, because we have um, the uh, University Language uh, Center that is uh, in Italian Centro Linguistico di Ateneo that has uh, courses at various levels for um, Italian language and based on your entry level, you can become we are quite fluent in Italian in a three months time. But what is more important is that you can um, uh, thanks to an agreement between the University of Napoli Federico II and the University of Rome, Roma 3, you can uh, also get uh, an official certification of your Italian skills, which can be, which can be very important for your uh, future job experience. And um, uh, CLA, uh, as uh, uh, takes care of having very engaging courses. As an example, uh, for the students uh, which are intermediate to um, advanced level in Italian, um, uh, the teachers and, uh, and the students are involved in an immersive program uh, of guided visits to uh, the monuments of Napoli to connect uh, classroom and outdoor experience. If you want, if you like uh, to um, complete your uh, international uh, experience, you can uh, choose to uh, um, have a um, list a term uh, in the Erasmus program in one of the 250 uh, other universities uh, which have an agreement with Federico II 
for the Erasmus program. As to the fees, we must say that an Italian student pays up to 2,000 euros per year, but for the international students, the Federico II University stated that fees are reduced. And as an example, a student coming from a country outside the European Union pays only what we call a task regionale that is 250 euros per year but you know you must not think that a reduced fee is a reduced academic quality because uh, um, if you check the record of uh, University of Nadia uh, uh, Federico II in the international ranking, uh, it is an outstanding record. So uh, be sure that you will have a high quality um, uh, educational system in uh, Federico II University. And finally, for those of you who like the match staying in Naples and in Italy in general, um, you can uh, think that a degree uh, in uh, Italy makes also possible for you to find a job for um, to apply for a job uh, in uh, um, public uh, in a public uh, body. This means, uh, um, I think, uh, schools or uh, local authorities. But if you want to apply for a job uh, elsewhere, you can. Our degree can easily be recognized for uh, its, in, uh, its equivalent outside in another country. Uh, I thank you and uh, pass the floor to my colleague, Ermina Begovic. Thank you, Paola. I would just like to present to you uh, some of the opportunities uh, that Federico II also gives uh, to foreign students. One uh, opportunity is participating in very prestigious uh, Master Mundus program uh, that is um, sustainable ship and shipping, uh, which gives very uh, generous scholarships to the students that are uh, enrolled in the program. And you will hear later on uh, two testimonials of this program. Nia and Dennis. Um, as you can also see on the slide, um, this is the program that uh, except studying in Italy, uh, requires studying in Spain as well and in one of four countries that are uh, members of the consortium. So uh, those are um, Italy, Spain, and then Croatia and Germany. And you can also see the students, the flags of the different uh, countries uh, from which the students enrolled in last two intakes are coming from. And on the upper um, map of the Europe, you can see uh, the statistics of the internships uh, performed in the last three months of the first intake. Another very important opportunity, if not Master Mundus, that Federico II offers to uh, all international students uh, is the scholarship called Study in Naples. And uh, it's not that generous. Uh, it's like around 12,000 uh, euros per two years study, but still it is um, it is something that you can apply for and get the grant. Uh, another uh, important uh, part for foreign student is how to enroll and all the bureaucracy that it covers uh, and it brings up when you have to move to another country in EU. So the first action uh, when you will decide where you want to enroll, whether it will be Federico II or other Italian university, the very first step that you will have to do is to first decide your course and then decide your university. And then you have to go to the platform called university. Uh, and at University Italy, you have to choose your uh, study path. Uh, the platform University Italy will send the uh, notification to the coordinator of the course you choose uh, 
and to the uh, Italian embassy in the country where you uh, from. And uh, uh, this uh, will st th this will be the start of your procedure to apply for the visa uh, for Italy in um, for Italy for the uh, next academic period. How it goes? Uh, generally, it will take uh, two to three months, depending on the country. Uh, can be extremely fast, but never less than one month of the time. At the moment, uh, Universitaly is already open for the applications, and it will be uh, open until 15th of July. So this is the very deadline for applying in any of Italian university and then Federico II as well. What is required to uh, apply at Universitaly? Uh, it will be normal classical list of the documents that you are always dealing with. So that will be the passport, that will be your uh, certificate of uh, bachelor degree or previous education uh, and the transcript of records. So those are general questions and sometimes it could be some reference letter or uh, some, let's say, enrollment letter or something like that. Uh, so those are the documents that you will in some way uh, upload at Universitaly. Uh, so consider that it will take some time and consider when you are going into Italian embassy in your country, you can directly ask also for the tax identification number called Codice Fiscale in Italian. So it can be released to you together with the visa. And another very important uh, document that you can ask in Italian embassy, it's one of the way, is the um, Dichiarazione di, va di Valore. So it's the document, Declaration of Value, so-called, that serves as certificate that your documents are original, that you really uh, graduated uh, from your place. This is some kind of, um, let's say, uh, bureaucracy that uh, are uh, that is needed for uh, enrollment at Italian University. So um, those uh, are the first steps that you have to do. And then finally, once when you arrive in Naples, uh, there is uh, the um, office of Federico II that is called International Welcome Desk. And it is the um, office in some way done uh, only for you. It's completely free of charge for you, uh, even though it's not within university building. Uh, and it helps you in different or in all other different aspects. So uh, that can be uh, the accommodation, that can be, and it will be the, uh, in majority of the case, the request of permit of stay and the whole procedure uh, helping you also in the preparation of the documents and the modules to fill uh, for presentation of permit of stay. Uh, another uh, important uh, issue that uh, you will uh, have to face when coming in Italy is the insurance. So uh, again, International Welcome Desk can help you in uh, uh, applying for the national uh, health insurance uh, in Italy. Uh, it is also possible to uh, help, uh, to, to ask them uh, for help in opening bank account, even though um, my experience with the students from uh, Erasmus Mundus, and uh, uh, they can also uh, confirm that, was that uh, uh, it was quite easier to use online account than uh, the physical bank account. So uh, those are the, uh, let's say, basic services that we are uh, offering in some way to help you to uh, come in some way in soft and smooth uh, way and to enter and to be able to accommodate as soonest uh, in the city and in the university and to get the best of your mobility here. Uh, thank you. And remember that we are always here to uh, answer on uh, any question or uh, doubt that you may have during this procedure. Thank and you. For... Oh, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, go ahead. Yes, yes, yes. This is the this is the also the email where you can uh, ask and also the um, uh, website where you can find all other relevant information.
Okay, so that, that's it. Incoming 2223 at unina.it. Okay, I'm putting that uh, on the chat right now for everyone to copy whoever has any further questions. Anyway, I will um, um, suggest to our participants tonight to kindly put your questions on the Q&A box. We have quite a few ready, but I see some of you are placing them on the chat. If you could please put them on the Q&A box so that we can uh, answer them all at the end of the presentation. Thank you very much um, to our panel tonight. And um, that was uh, Professor Paula Petruzino from the Department of Earth Sciences. And uh, right after Professor Ermina Begovic from the Department of Industrial Engineering. Thank you very much for such a thorough presentation. And now we will pass to our panel of student testimonials. I know many of our participants tonight are very excited to hear this. We have people from many different countries. We're very pleased to have them with us tonight. So we have Tanya, Ines, Mion, and Isabelli. Uh, maybe we can start with uh, Tanya. Are you ready? Would you like to talk uh, about your experience at uh, Federico II? Yes. Okay. Yeah, can I start now? Sure, go ahead. We can hear you perfectly. Okay, thank you. Uh, so good. Afternoon, everyone. My name is Tania Duratno Purwanto. I'm originally from Indonesia, and now I'm staying here in Italy. I just graduated. I finished my master's study at Federico II uh, in March. So it's just like beginning of March. It's still March. Okay. Yeah, it's just like some weeks ago. I, I finished my master's study here. And I would like to give a testimonial regarding my study in Federico II that I enjoyed a lot because Naples is a really beautiful city. So I love staying in Naples. And my stay in Federico II, I was in this Erasmus Mundus program actually uh, for naval architecture. Um, that is an international program. So the program is uh, fully taught by English. I don't speak Italian. Now I speak a little bit because another um, advantage that you could take once you join in Federico Secondo, the university will offer you an Italian language class for free. So that is nice. Uh, you would take a, like a test for entry level. I did my test and got A1, of course, because I have zero level of Italian previously. Then you could take the class and uh, you could continue if you really like Italian language, you could continue to A2, B1, etc. But I didn't <laughs> because uh, of this program that uh, made me move from Italy. Then I continued uh, my study in Spain. And then for the third semester, I went to Zagreb in Croatia. Uh, but I finished like my diploma, my thesis defense in Federico II. And it's a really great opportunity if you want to study in Federico II because um, Italy is also a great country, especially uh, for me. I really love it. And I'm from Indonesia, which is a kind of not a really developed country. So I would like to have better opportunity when I came to Europe. And Fortunately, I got opportunity here. I got, after graduation, I got job over in Italy. That's why I'm still staying here now, but not in Naples anymore. Uh, now I'm staying in the North. I'm working in Trieste in a ship design company. So it's still related with my degree. Uh, and other than that, I also actually got some offers from Salerno and from um Fano as well it's in Italy so Italy is a good country for you I think they have lots of opportunity for a job if you want to continue your work here in Italy after your after your study so um yeah I think that's pretty much what I'm doing what I have done in the university that's all <laughs> thank you Thank you very much, Tanya, for um, your testimonial. We'll now go ahead with uh, another former student already graduated from the master SEIS 4.0. We have Ines San Sankak. Am I pronouncing that right, Ines? Uh, hello, my name is Ines Sanjak, and uh, 
Tanya is uh, both my like colleague and uh, classmate. We were in the same master program. She is 4.0, as it is mentioned. Uh, she talked about more, let's say, practical point of view from phases to phases. I will a bit talk about general perspective to study in uh, UNINA, uh, Federico II. So as already professors mentioned, it is one of the oldest uh, university in the Europe, which is like a government university. So it gives great uh, traditional uh, approach of education. That what I realized when I compare from where I come from, which is uh, I came from Turkey, up. Oh, sorry. It seems Apart like from it is... that, it is like oh, okay. not in Keras. Sorry. No, sorry. We we just lost you for a second. Please go ahead. Uh, sorry for the connection. Uh, what I meant was. It is a traditional university with a long uh, history of education, but also it is very innovative in means of capturing new ideas and development of the uh, research and the students' values added education. So this was very, you know, uh, two things at the same time is a bit hard to have, like having a long tradition, but also being open to new opportunities. That what I realized in Federico Secondo is like very highlighting, as well as the Napoli, the city itself, and uh, the Italy, uh, the location wise in the Europe is very well connected to all other places. And even if you don't want to go out of the country or the city itself, it has a lot of nice places to visit, very highlighting uh, landmark within its own boundary. And in my own idea, the third most, let's say, uh, attractive reason why I choose to continue in this program and in the Federico Secunda was the university itself is full of uh, research opportunities as well as it is very well connected with the university, is very well connected with the industry. So whatever happens in the industry or what kind of internship that you are want to you want to develop yourself with probably your professors already worked with those companies with those companies uh, previous employers or managers so everything is quite intact to make yourself develop within professional area and as well as academic area as well so this is my point of view when it comes to studying uh, Federico Secondo I hope you uh, get some uh, benefit out of it. And if you have any questions further on, I will try my best to explain uh, from my perspective as well. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ines. Uh, to our participants, remember to put your questions to the faculty or to the students or former students on the Q&A box, uh, please, so that we can answer them all at the end of the presentation. We'll go ahead with the student testimonials. Now the turn of uh, Mion Na from South Korea. I hope I pronounced your name correctly, Mion. Yes. Thank you, please go ahead, the floor is yours. Okay, hello everyone. I'm uh, Mion and uh, I'm in third year of medicine and surgery in uh, Federico II. And uh, uh, I'm from South Korea, Seoul, which is the capital. So if you are from a capital from any other countries, like Naples is totally different from wherever you come from. So I like at first it could be a little uh, like it could be a little hard to adjust yourself to living in Naples. But um, people here are very welcoming and nice. And also the university itself is really um, helpful for every student. So uh, uh, first of all, Federico Secundo is the one of the has the one of the biggest hospital in South South Italy. So uh, that's also why I choose the Federico Secundo. But but the truth is, I didn't choose here. Unlike other students, like I I also get accepted from uh, other medical medical uh, school from Northern Italy, like Milan. But I, uh, I ended up to choose here because I also have my friends and uh, my boyfriend and families and stuff. So uh, it's, it's like from a different perspective that I'm going to talk about because uh, it's more personal. 
But still, if you even didn't think about to come to Naples and study whatever you want to study, you will fall in love in Naples because it's a really nice place. And also our university has a really good campus. If you walk around well, what, um, in the city center, there's uh, several campuses. And uh, I am studying medicine, so I'm in the poly, uh, polyclinical. And it's, it has really, really nice hospitals. And it's a really safe campus, clean. And uh, uh, there's everything you need to do, um, uh, everything what you need for your study. So uh, it'll be really nice. And uh, I also uh, attended the lectures from the CLA, which is the language course, language center from Federico Secondo. So I studied Italian there, and I also studied the German language and Spanish. So it's all completely free and it's really, really nice. So I got my uh, B1 certi certificate for uh, Italian language. And also I did the A1 course for the German, A1 course for the Spanish. So you can try a lot of things through our Federico Secondo University. So you will love your experience in Naples and you will love your courses. So um, I recommend you to choose Federico Secondo in general. Thank you very much, Mion, for your testimonial, for your experience. And now we have uh, Isabelle Capanema Maciel from Brazil. Uh, she studied architecture and heritage at the Federico II University in Naples. I think Isabelle has also a presentation to show us tonight. So please, Isabelle, go ahead. Yes, but first I will present myself. My name is Isabelle. Are you listening to me? Yes. It's good? Okay. I'm from Brazil and uh, I am an architect and urbanist and I during my graduation I always had this interesting to uh, heritage area and during my graduation I all the bi bibliography was about uh, articles books and studies done by Italian authors and then I thought okay I need to learn Italian and first of all, I learned to how to speak Italian. And when I finished my course, I start to search uh, scholarships in masters in Italy. And why I choose Italy? Because Italy have a, of course, a strong field in heritage area. And Naples uh, also have a strong field in heritage area. And when I saw the program here of the Archer masters, um, I saw all the subjects and I felt love <laughs> and I thought, okay, I want to study this course. I want to do this master. And uh, when I arrived here, I started the course in September of the last year. And Naples is a very nice place. Is uh, all the not the place, it's the people, the Napolitans uh, are so. Um, a warm people are sympathetic and I like it so much. And uh, okay, uh, can I share uh, my presentation just to show sure, go ahead. about the course? Okay, I will show just all the work that we developed the last year, um, the last semester. And can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, I'll put the uh, full screen. Okay. Perfect. Okay, um, a short presentation. Let me just... Uh, okay. Um, the objective object of the course is, uh, is a two-year course is, um, in English. And uh, in the field of beauty heritage, including design, conservation, maintenance, and retains and management of architecture, urban and landscape. I put here the is an interdisciplinary course, design studios. And the first semester we stood all these subjects. We did not have only uh, theoretical um, subjects. We all, we have always we we have also uh, practical activities. So. For example, 3D survey and uh, methodology, we have uh, um, to research, we have to go to the place. And 
For example, our object of this semester, last semester, is the Chiesa di Santa Chiara, Santa Chiara's Church. Uh, it's here in Naples in the St. Historic. And we developed all this um, study. I will be very quick. Uh, we make um, research, historical research, and after we go to the place and understand what happened. And uh, we have a, a design project to do in the place that was destroyed by the Second World War. And uh, this is our, all the, our last presentation, the final presentation. And I can say that the practical part, that's my favorite part, is about the 3D survey that we use a laser scanner, photogrammetry, and all this digital survey. Um, and we got all these, these products, final product here, and we work on this. And I be fast because the best part is this, this pictures that I showed to, I brought to you, because these are the place that we use the Badessa wing, uh, the part of the complex of Santa Chiara that uh, is still destroyed. And uh, we work on this part. And this is our, um, us. Uh, this is us students on the place doing the survey. Uh, this is me doing the photogrammetry. This is our, all our students. And um, after all this, this um, design, doing design and studying research, we produce a model, a physical model. And this is our, some pictures that I brought to you about our classroom. Um, there is this big model and this is the final presentation. These are the students and the, all the professors here. And okay, I will stop. I just broke some, some part. So just a little part of our course, but it's a, very good course here. I'm so glad to have this opportunity. I'm so glad to have uh, had applied and be accepted. And yes, so. <laughs> Thank you very much, Isabel, and to all the student testimonials we have tonight, also to our panel. Um, if there is no anything else to add, we can start with, your, with our Q&A section. If you all agree, we have quite a few questions. Still some on the chat. Uh, we asked to our participants to kindly place your question on the Q&A box right here below. On the Zoom menu, you will find the Q&A button and there you can place your question. We will start answer them right now. Now is your chance to, to put them out. So we um, have a first question. It was the first one as soon as we started with the presentation. What's the minimum qualification to join the university? I guess it depends on the level of uh, the program you would like to access to. But um, if anyone from our panel would like to tell us which is the minimum qualification for each level. Um, I should say that if they go on our website, international, uh, unina uh, it um, there is uh, the all the information about the enrollment procedure and so you can find most of the answer to the question that uh, I have seen in the QA so they need uh, uh, if you are not a, a European from European country you need uh, uh, as uh, we said before a declaration of value of your previous, uh, studies that means uh, the uh, the school that you have done before uh, and then you need to go through this pre-enrollment procedure that is well described in uh, the information in the our international website thank you very much uh, professor Costantino. if you could uh, pass me the, the complete ad website address i can put it uh, just so we make sure that i don't put the wrong one i will put it in the chat for everyone to see it and copy it thank you very much for that so okay uh, and i want to add a little bit sure, like yeah, yeah if you want to if you want to uh, come for medicine and surgery you need to take another additional exam which is an entrance exam it's not just only for the federico secondo for everyone who want to join the medical school in italy you need to take another exam which calls imet and it's a uh, you need to apply for separately from the uh, admission uh, pro uh, process apart from the 
this uh, universally. So you need to think about it too. Thank you very much, uh, Mion. Uh, for everyone, I put on the chat the um, website that Professor Costantino was talking about, and so you can go there and check all the admission requirements uh, for the programs you're interested in. And uh, okay, then we have my name is Mohammed Yusuf, and I'm, I want to apply for a bachelor's. I guess we can uh, refer Mohammed to the same uh, website that we were talking about before. Um, okay, we have I am uh, in Pakistan doing A levels. I will receive my final grades in January 2024. Can you brief the procedure through which I can apply in your university? Is there anything in general we can? Uh, uh, explain. I know we we went through some uh, application steps before, but maybe we can refresh the information for for everyone to listen. I don't know, Professor Costantino. Okay. okay. So uh, again, uh, we you need to go to the this university pre enrollment, and this is true for all university in Italy. Okay, so the first step that you have to do is to go in this uh, website and uh, do this first step that is called pre-enrollment. And this will help you to apply for your visa if you need a visa to, to come in our, uh, in, our, uh, in our country and to study in Naples. And you will find in this website all the information also for apply for the visa. Uh, when you have done this pre-enrollment, the website will uh, inform our uh, departmental courses of your application. And then if you were accepted, you will go through the enrollment procedure that is called uh, uh, in our system uh, matriculation. You will get your matricula and you will get all the uh, necessary requirement to to study in Naples. So again, uh, uh, the universal portal portal called Universitali, and you have this deadline for applying on Un Universitali portal on July 15. So it's already open. Please go there, check the procedure, check if you need any other information to work on it. And if you need any uh, additional information, you can write an email to uh, the address we have done before. This is incoming at 2223.unina.it. Uh, okay, thank you very much, Professor Costantino. Uh, we have another question here. Hi, my name is Vinod from India. I did Doctor of Pharmacy Farm D here in India. What kind of master opportunities can I get at Naples? Uh, we could briefly list the courses uh, related uh, to pharmacy. Uh, oh, yes. Um, in Italy, uh, pharmacy is uh, a, a course of five years. So, uh, in our system, pharmacy is already a master degree, so it depends on uh, uh, which kind of bachelor you have, and so maybe you need to write to get more information, but we have uh, uh, two years master degrees in the Department of Pharmacy of in the Department of Health, and so maybe you can check uh, our list of courses uh, on, on the same website I mentioned before. Thank you, Professor. Now, the same uh, student asks uh, if he could go having a doctor in pharmacy, uh, if he could apply for a technological course like data science or quantum com computing. Yes, he, he can. Sure, he can. Okay. Thank no you very problem. much. Uh, here we have Sara, and she's asking for the admission requirements for architecture uh, and heritage. Uh, there is any specific uh, uh, requirement? Uh, um, maybe there is a, the student that uh, uh, can give more information about this. There is one that work that study this. Uh, uh, not the before. It's another. Uh, I'm sorry. Isabel. Isabel. Yes, the question about Sara. Sara. What requirement to be enrolled in the in master you need? Um, we have 
all these uh, that uh, list of documents that we apply on the university. And also we have, uh, we need to have the B, the minimum B2 English certification. And uh, when I applied, I sent uh, a portfolio uh, with all the work uh, that I developed during my graduation. And also um, a curriculum vitae, but it's not mandatory, you can send or not, because the important thing is to show your skills uh, or the things that you develop it during your graduation, um, like uh, for example, what softwares you know to, how you know to use, and you can show this on your portfolio. And uh, um, later of your uh, some someone like a professor of you, a professor that uh, uh, orientation, for example, I asked it to my teacher that orient that have orientated my thesis. And she wrote a, late, a letter to my coordinator um, saying why um, accept me <laughs> on the university. And also I have to write, write, write an email um, and later to uh, saying why I want to apply to this university. But so, basically you need uh, uh, the bachelor, the three years bachelor and the B2 level of English, right? Yes. Yes, and you need to translate all these doc all these documents to Italian language. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, uh, Professor and Isabel. Italian uh, or English? Italian or English? Uh, okay. Italian or <laughs> English. Thank you very much for the um, for adding that, Professor Petrosino. Um, then Andrew asked, "Where are the requirements and the tuition fees for studying medicine uh, program in English?" If available, the, the tuition fee is always the same in all our uh, university. And uh, for international student, as we have said before, it's just a, a small fee that are the regional taxes, as we called. So basically, uh, University of Naples wish uh, uh, to have international students. So it's almost uh, uh, only 300 euros of a tuition fee. Okay. I'll tell you the exact amount for medicine and surgery. It's just like for one year, which is a two semester, you pay the tax for the first semester, but it's for, for both of the two semesters, which is 140 euro of the, I don't know what kind of tax, plus 16 euro. So it's in total 156 euro per year. Only that one. Okay, thank you very much, Mion. And then we have Mohammed, who is interested in doing a bachelor's in hospital management. And he's asking, how can I apply in Federico Secondo University? I think we already went through that. And what is the criteria, the admission criteria, I guess. But uh, I think it's more about the bureaucratic the visa issue. There are no criteria for a specific field of study. Uh, is that right, Professor Constantin? Yes. Yes, uh, he, he needs the, the visa, he needs to the pre roll in the University of Italy, and uh, the, he also needs the declaration of value of the study that he did before. Oh, uh, oh. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Costantino. Uh, then we have good morning, Maria Gabriela, good evening, uh, or good morning. Good evening for us. My name is Maria Gabriela. I would like to know if the university has a master's degree or diploma for sociology or social sciences. Thank you. I think so, but uh, I have to say that we have so many courses that uh, we have to go on the international website and th there is the list of all the master we have, but I'm sure that we do not have this master in English. So. Uh, you have to study in uh, Italian. In Italian. Thank you very much, Professor. And then Vikas is asking if the automation and robotics engineering is uh, taught in English or Italian. I guess we can also check that on the website. Is that right? Yes. Um, and I can confirm that autonomous vehicle uh, is in uh, English. Is in English? Okay, yes. thank you very much, Professor Begovic. I already put again the, 
the website on the chat for everyone to go and see the best uh, offer of uh, study programs in the different levels that uh, the Federico Secondo University has. Um, okay, then going through. Uh, we have, um, good morning, Veronica here. Good morning, I am a general doctor graduated in Ecuador and I would like to know if you offer medical specialties at your university, for example, imaging or laryngology. hope my mind pronouncing that right, pediatrics or gynecology and what are requirements, uh, essential requirements with level of Italian and uh, the dates to apply. Yeah, it's the same, the same uh, answer. Always, you, always go to the website. Yeah, yeah, I wish to, I wish to recommend to all uh, uh, participant that uh, for most embassy is where the procedure to get the visa is really long. So the best they, they can do is go into the portal in Uni Universitaly and uh, then apply for the visa because this takes a long, especially in some countries where there is a, uh, uh, there is a lot of uh, of a visa um, request and the personal is not uh, so big. So go there, try to to go in in the website in the in universitally and ask for your visa. This is the first step. And also, when you go to the Italian embassy in your country, you can ask the declaration of value of your. Uh, of your precedent studies, so to be ready with all the uh, the document we need. Okay, I'll give a little quick uh, sure. answer for Go that because I think uh, Veronica want to know about the uh, scuola di specializzazione, which is takes uh, five years. You need to spend there five years to finish your medical specialties, and I don't know the uh, what kind of. Um, specialties exist in our university, but in general, you need to have a C1 level of Italian certificate. And uh, I'm not sure Italian government has uh, recognized a medical degree of Ecuador, but this part you need to contact with them. But in general, you, you must know Italian level C1. That's what I know. Okay, thank you very much, Mion. Um, okay, then we have Jonathan who's asking if I have a low level of Italian, can the university offer me a language course before doing my master's degree? I guess he's interested about the um, uh, master's uh, topic in, in Italian, not in English. Is there the possibility to do an Italian course to raise up the, the Italian level or the students have to do that on their own? If you are enrolled in our university, you have free Italian classes uh, on our uh, Center for Languages, for International Languages, not only in Italian. And as probably, uh, I can't remember if it was Isabel or, 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 or who uh, talked about the, the language that uh, uh, she studied during uh, her master uh, in, in Naples. So plenty of, uh, of chances to learn Italian and other languages. Okay, thank you very much, Professor. Uh, I don't know if any of our students tonight have the chance to do the, any language courses uh, to learn Italian or any other languages at the Federico Secondo. Isabel, Enes, Mion, or Tania? Okay, maybe you- uh, what was, What's the question, sorry? Ah, yes, if you had the chance to try the, the Italian courses at the Federico Secondo University. Oh, yeah, the language course, you mean? Yes. Yes, I've tried one in the CLA. I, I've just talked about, and it's it's free. And mm -hmm. then usually there's a two, uh, what I know is generally two sessions, one for summer, one for winter, because it's, uh, it's actually for the courses for Erasmus students. It's not the general Italian course. It's a Italian course for Erasmus students. So it's an Italian culture and language course. So if you join that courses, you can also go to see a movie all together and go to a beach and um, have um, have really fun with other students and uh, it also offer the uh, online courses so you can join with the teams microsoft teams and uh, it it really helped me to learn some general basic uh, grammars of italian language it was i really really recommend you to join it 
Thank yeah. you. If I can add, I really want to thank uh, me one for this uh, information because we are very proud of this kind of Italian class because uh, uh, beside of learning Italian, uh, they learn in a very uh, nice way and uh, they make a group of people going around Naples and then uh, we have a final event. And so I think it's very interesting to be part of this group uh, while you are trying to study in, uh, in any kind of, of a field. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you all. So we have questions also about opportunities of exchange. A Federico Secondo, or maybe there is a general program from the university or there are specific programs in the each uh, study programs. Yes, uh, each of the each of the 26 department as is a uh, uh, program of Erasmus exchange and there are some double degrees, some joint master degrees or only uh, exchange for three to six months. Uh, we are plenty of a scholarship in, in the frame of the Erasmus program. So this is uh, for sure uh, uh, an opportunity for our student to go abroad where they enrolled in our, in our university. Definitely, okay. yes. Okay, thank you very much. Always uh, stay on the language requirements uh, issue. Uh, here, Pratyast, I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce your name right, uh, but I see some others were asking about the same thing. Um, to do the English courses, is it needed to have an English certificate? You already specif um, specified that it needs to be a B2 level, but is there any uh, certificate required? Is the, there are some certain certificates submitted and others not? If you could uh, specify more on, the, on that subject. Uh, usually, in, in, in we um, our international relation office uh, taking consideration of the most uh, important uh, certification uh, schools. Uh, so, uh, for sure, uh, we there is a list on the international office website, but for sure there, there are the most uh, new one, the the most known. Okay, thank you very much. Um, we have also questions about the scholarships or financial aid. Here is one that says that this, uh, the study Naples scholarships, uh, is it awarded to everyone who applies uh, for, for the university or is there a separate selection process? It's separate uh, selection process. So, uh, uh, it is normally announced, I think, in this period, uh, March to May, something like that, and then uh, the selections are uh, in July, something, uh, I, I would say something like that, and with the uh, first rate given to the students when they come uh, in Naples. Uh, so this is the, this is the normal procedure. Uh, again, it's the same. Uh, there are same requirements as for all other students, as for uh, university platforms. So what you will need to present is your motivation letter to study in Naples, where you enrolled, and what is your uh, transcript of records, so GPA, and things like that. So this is pretty much straightforward uh, application. Uh, if we can add, we will announce uh, the, the call for this application called Study in Naples in the international website. So. Uh, this is your friend, and uh, you will find all the information in the call uh, as soon as uh, they they are uh, they are on the regular website in Italian. Okay, so everyone just uh, keep an eye on the website, so uh, you see right away when the deadline for the application is announced. We already put the um, website address on the chat, but I will put it once more for everyone to see it. Now, um, we have so many questions. Oh, here, uh, Raman, maybe also Isabel can answer this one. Greetings, my name is Raman. Uh, how many courses should we pass in the first semester of the Master of Architecture and Heritage? Um, for example, the first uh, semester, we made like uh, five or six, five, no, six, 
uh, courses, but uh, you have, uh, we can say, like a second chance to do again the exams. Uh, but uh, yes, you need to, to pass uh, all the courses, but you have a second chance to apply again. So yeah yeah this is the very interesting in 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 our system um after the class is is finished i mean the lectures in the presence are finished you have uh, uh, more than one chance to get your final so if you are not ready for the first date you can apply the second day uh, date as a, for example if you finish before christmas vacation time so usually in December you will have two or three uh, dates between January and February and then the same for the second semester so this is quite interesting to know okay okay thank you very much uh, we have another question from Yash um, can you let me know about student accommodations in Naples uh, as uh, we present before, we have the International Welcome Desk, and again, you will find email, phone numbers in the international website. You can uh, ask them to provide you with an accommodation. Uh, we do not have uh, uh, campus accommodation because our city is really huge and campus are spread out in the city, so you will find uh, through uh, our international welcome desk, an accommodation uh, in uh, in an apartment with other student, depending on uh, uh, as you wish uh, where you wish to stay. So again, the city is big, and it depends if you are studying engineering or medical sciences. Uh, the campus will be very far uh, each from the other. Okay, thank you very much, Professor. Um, I don't know if any of our testimonials want to talk about their experience with the uh, student housing in Naples. How do you find yourselves? Uh... Uh, there is a three, as I know, there's a three uh, dormitories from the Campania region. So it's not from the school itself, but it's from the uh, Campania region. They give a dormitory for free, but according to your ESA based on your ESA, which is the state of your income. So there's many of my colleagues who's from who's staying there. Um, most of them staying in one in uh, Pozzoli, but it's really, really far from uh, campus. So it's even a little out from the Naples city center. Not little. It takes like one hour with the train. But there's another one in uh, Via Gian Turco which is close with the uh, Napoli cent, cent, how can I say, Central Station. And there's another one, uh, Benin Casa, which is in uh, Via Toledo. So there's a, as I know, there's a total three, but I've only seen the students from the Pozzuoli and one in Via Gian Turco. So it's available just according to your income state. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, Mion. Uh, we have another question. Can I apply for more than one first in case I don't get admission uh, in, in one of them? I mean, can students apply for different courses or they have to choose just one and, uh, and enter that one? I think they have to choose just one. Okay. Uh, I'm completely sure they have to, to choose just one. If they made a mistake that has happened last year to us, that one student to choose a uh, wrong uh, course, he wrote email to, to, to me, to the coordinator uh, that uh, he missed the course. Then I wrote to the coordinator of the course he chose. Uh, we uh, deleted this application and then he was able to start again. So uh, it's just one shot. Okay, thank you very much. There was someone who was asking about getting a private consultation. I think uh, maybe uh, if you want to see your case specifically or they want to ask uh, for some specific information, I'm putting on the chat if everyone agrees the email address that the professors uh, shared before and uh, the website once more so that you can uh, check further information. We have uh, still so many questions. 
Um, is there any course available for foundation year studies at Federico II? If there's any foundation course available? Uh, sorry, can you say again? Yes, is there any foundation course available? The one that is to be done before the bachelor? Well, I, I don't understand what is the question. Do yes, the, you yeah. know, the foundation course, the foundation year level. It was just bachelor of uh, just bachelor. management, just that okay. it's the only one in in English law, uh, in English language. All others are in Italian. Okay, thank you very much. And there is another question asking if it is possible for an international student uh, studying at Federico Secondo University, if it is possible also to get a part time job. Um, I think the time will depend on the course you're following, but does the student visa? Um, allows for a student also to have a, a part-time job? There are some part-time uh, sure. uh, opportunities uh, for students in the frame of the university. There are calls uh, every year and the students um, can help uh, in different fields as uh, in lab, uh, assist and other students younger than this. This is the only opportunity that we offer. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Well, um, we have still uh, quite a few questions. Some of them, uh, okay, someone is asking, I don't know if you, if you can answer this, uh, if you can apply for different universities at the same time. No. No, it's not possible. You have to choose one university, one course. One university, one course, and this is it. And when you're course. sure, then you apply. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Also, um, many of these uh, questions are very specific. Many of them, we already went through them. Uh, unfortunately, I have uh, to be the bad guy tonight just to tell you that we are running out of time. I will put once more uh, all the information for further questions. You can send an email to incoming2223 at unina.it or you can go to the website, keep an eye on the announcement of the deadlines for you to apply. Just make sure um, you go ahead of time, specifically for international students, there is always a lot of bureaucracy to go after. It's better to, to do everything in advance. Um, I don't know if any of you would like to add something before we close. Oh, we really hope that this event will be useful for the participant and I wish personally thank all the uh, past and present students that uh, are in, uh, in this event with us, with me, Armina and uh, Paola. Thanks a lot. Uh, your point of view is much more important than our point of view. And so it's, uh, we really appreciate your time uh, and uh, uh, and the things that you wanted to share uh, with, with us and with other participants. For sure, Naples is a very warm and friendly city, maybe a little big. And so maybe as uh, some of you said before, very difficult to, 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 to live at the, at the real beginning, but uh, you will have a lot of support from uh, from your uh, from Neapolitan students from in other international students and as soon as I arrive you will have the welcome day it's a special uh, it's a special event that we organize in presence all of us together so you can meet other students you can meet us and uh, so you can start to be acquainted in our super big city and so I really help uh, I really hope to to welcome you in Naples so next uh, semester. And uh, of course, uh, if you need more information, please write by email and we will uh, answer you. Okay. Anyone else would like to? Yes, uh, Lucia, if possible, I want to add something. Sure. I see uh, many specific questions regarding a specific program. And what I suggest to these uh, students is also to check the website of the program and to contact the coordinator, the teacher who takes care of this program. Because uh, with these specific questions, they can have uh, more information by the, um, those teachers, those coordinators. So 
um, each of these programs has a website. They can uh, um, get more information uh, um, through these websites. Thank you very much, Professor. Yes, some questions are very specific and uh, they need to be taken care of uh, personally. And unfortunately, our time here is limited. So we're, we have so many questions. Uh, you can also refer, as the professor was saying, to the email address we put in the chat, incoming2223 at unina.it. Um, is there anyone else, maybe any of our former students tonight that would like to add something before we close? Okay. Okay, so I think uh, we're all set. Uh, for anyone who would like to obtain the certificate of attendance issued by Doxity, you can send your request to webinar at doxity.com, specifying the webinar you're referring to, your first and last name, and the email address you use to register for this webinar. Um, thank you very much to our speakers tonight. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Professor Costantino, Professor Begovic, Professor Petruzino, also to uh, Valentina from uh, Federico Secondo, who is uh, here in the background. Thank you very much to our student testimonials. Isabella, Mion, Enes, and Tanya, thank you very much for your precious participation here tonight, and especially to our speakers who joined from many, many countries around the world. Um, we really hope you enjoyed this presentation and we hope to see you again in the next uh, webinars organized by Dr. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank bye. you. Bye. bye. bye.